Very good afternoon, Dr. Pasi, and thank you so much for giving us your time today. Uh, we've gotten together here just to be able to interact with you and understand uh, uh, a few things uh, now that we've got your presence in this uh, Fourth India Association Congress of ours. Uh, Dr. Pasi, you've been the executive committee member of uh, Indian Prosthodontic Society. Uh, and That's also, right. you're the uh, the honorary sec uh, you're the oh, organizing secretary of the uh, Indian Prosthodontic Society Conference. Prosthodontic uh, Society Conference, which is happening in uh, Chandigarh. That's right. So, if you can uh, throw a little light on the Indian uh, Prosthodontic uh, Society and uh, where uh, what your role has been and what your uh, uh, your society is about. Sure, sure, is, sure. Yes. Raina. Before I start, I want to tell you about Indian Prosthodontic Society yeah. is something, prosthetics, prosthodontics is something to deal with the replacement of the missing teeth. Right. Okay. A little bit about dentistry uh, right. I need to tell when I ta speak about uh, society. Right. And uh, we got together, we get together every year, Indian mm. Dental Association keeps the meeting every year in different places all over India. Mm -hmm. So what we do is like we get together and discuss about the uh, progress of dentistry, how we can progress, how we can serve the society right. uh, as far as the dentistry is concerned. Mm. Since we have a lot of different branches in dentistry, so mm. prosthodontics is one of the bran seven branches that we have. Okay. Okay. Indian Prosthodontic Society was formed in 1972. Uh, in the year 1972. Mm -hmm. Since then, they are, you know, bringing lot of intellect, lot of uh, prosthodontists together mm -hmm. at one place, and mm -hmm. they discuss what more they can do mm -hmm. serve to the society. So that uh, is 32 years now running. Yes. Okay. And then, since then, 42 rather, I must say, 42. Okay. Mm -hmm. And since then, um, uh, we have been holding different sort of uh, conferences all over India. Right. Sometimes it is in Chennai, sometimes it is in Hyderabad. Right. And uh, mostly it is like, you know, all over India we try and hold this. Right. In Chandigarh it was held in 2001 and okay. now after 10, 11 years, mm. 12 years rather, mm -hmm. we, are, we are holding it at this time in Chandigarh. Mm -hmm. And this society has been working for um, uh, the community, like uh, every conference, we are holding the community awareness uh, camps. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, public awareness camps. Public awareness uh, uh, camp has lot of uh, things to tell people about the prosthodontics, about the dentistry. It's a it it deals with the geriatrics. Geriatrics is something old age group, right? So where you have uh, a lot of missing teeth and lot of uh, something which has to be replaced prosthetically is prosthodontics. Right. So, geriatrics, lot of patients who are uh, not having teeth, we are supplying the free dentures. Mm -hmm. In even certain camps are held in the tribal areas mm -hmm. where uh, the IPS is providing the funds to those groups who are going and giving, uh, making dentures for the tribal people okay. who cannot come to the area where the dental setups are there. Mm -hmm. And eventually the society is in collaboration with, they have joined hands with the uh, Japan Prosthodontic Society as well. Mm -hmm. JPS is along with the uh, IPS is working towards this. Right. So a lot of delegates from Japan also we usually get in mm -hmm. Indian uh, society conferences. Right. And we go, some of the students are also going to Japan to gain knowledge regarding this, how we can serve better to the society as far as the society is concerned, right. Indian prosthodontic society right. is concerned. So we have a uh, president uh, presently uh, working is uh, Dr. Mahindra Threddi. Okay. And uh, we have um, general secretary come treasurer. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rangarajan, right. they are all working, uh, you know, very hard, mm -hmm. not leaving any stone unturned to bring success in the kind of ventures they are trying to get into. They are really working very hard. Mm -hmm. And we who organize the conferences get a lot of support from the head office as far as these things are, these things are concerned, like right. logistics and 
public health awareness program keeping in the conferences they help the mm -hmm. funds and all are by them okay so it is fun every year holding a conference is fun mm. me being the executive committee member we get together every uh, year four times mm. and then discuss the uh, problems that we are facing and discuss the kind of uh, work we can do mm. for the society that we do I'm year. sure uh, Dr. Pasi having understood what um, uh, where you're coming Pasi. from uh, sorry uh, where you're coming from uh, and your your contribution to the society your conferences which you are um, organizing it is with a larger objective right it yeah. is for uh, increasing your exposure of your society true increasing awareness of your society that's right so well that is uh, pretty much what 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 we is the endeavor of holding conferences yes. it's an annual uh, it's annual conference we conference. actually have uh, one pg convention in right. between that's in the month of june and july yes and we have the um, annual conference in the month of november or maybe december october november december these are the three months we hold mm -hmm. the annual conferences and usually the, the kind of delegation that we get is 1000 mm. Uh, maybe 1200 last year we held in uh, this conference in um, Hyderabad last to last year was Chennai mm. and so every time it is like uh, beyond uh, 1200 1300 delegates get together mm. and in the PG convention mostly we concentrate on the PG students mm. and we have already have 4000 uh, members uh, registered okay. for this 4000 right. members registered and we are still getting more and more prosthodontists into this so yeah, uh, doctor uh, tell us what is what you feel about the uh, the path going forward for societies and associations in India what do you see how would it be uh, shaped um, what is your feeling attending, attending this conference gave me a lot of knowledge about uh, different fields how different societies are working for the society right different associations are working for the society right lot of uh, you know about 60 years age group people are so much with aggression they are involved into these kind of uh, work mm. similarly even the youngsters are quite you know these days are into these kinds of um, associations which are working for the society mm -hmm. like um, I coming from the family where a lot of social service my in-laws do mm -hmm. um, like Bharat Vikas Parishad and all mm -hmm. so what I gather from uh, you know these kinds of society who are doing a lot of work to the societies they got together here and they express their uh, way of doing things to the society and they um, how they get betterment into these kinds of society that we saw. So basically ideas and informations exchange ideas so exchange. that uh, you know this common, common forum can be utilized to be able to oh, yes. incorporate in respective associations and societies. Oh, yes. What oh, has yes. been the value addition from uh, this particular conference for you doctor? Uh, for me, what do you take back you know, home? <laughs> How has it helped you? See, when I brought this conference to Chandigarh, that this time is the lot fourth of time. I, I hope you know that that we are doing India Association. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Same question, I think. Yes, um, doctor, if you can tell us, this is the fourth time we are doing India Association Congress. What has been your take in this conference? What do you take back home? What has been the value addition? Uh, how has it? Uh, helped you attend this th attending this conference please see <coughs> CM global has been the best association as far as my conference is concerned because a lot of people approached me uh, when I was holding the conference S when I came here I saw a lot of uh, professionalism one togetherness mm -hmm. perfection the entire program was seamlessly done and rest everything like uh, d as I told you the association in different fields serving the society how they are going about doing it it's not necessarily that you are if I'm in dentistry I can serve uh, the society as far as the dentistry is concerned I can serve it in a different way different manner mm. 
that I got to know here, that a lot of different people in different fields are serving society. And hats off to CIM Global, you all bring all these people and discuss how we can, you know, do the betterment in this. Best practices and yeah. how to... Um, that know, was one thing I really liked. Address it common is. issues. Yes. Yes. I thank you so much uh, for being here and look forward to having you in our next association. Thank you. Congress. Thank you, Raina. Thank, thank you so, you so much. much.